Alright, hey y'all, this is uh Coon Hunter. Um I'm gonna go through my bag today, what I carry. Uh my goofy wife behind me, goofing and laughing. Um I don't know if I've mentioned before before, but I get all my stuff from the Fur Harvester Trading Post. It's uh it's a great it's a great place to get stuff. They've got everything from the traps, dog crews. This is what I use right here. Exact same kind. Electric collars, if y'all are in a hunt with dogs, I'm not. Predator calls, which I am. Foot traps, all kind of stuff. Uh, if you need to get their website, their website is right there. www.fntpost.com They've got everything. They'll send you a magazine just like this. Free of charge. Everybody's in the free stuff. I know. Um, first thing I'm going to show you is coon hunting does not have to be expensive. I made these. I made these for $130. Ah. It's got just basically a quick connector, quick link connector, which works very well when you're hooking the traps together. They just spin, spin off. You can hook them on your trap and then hook them back onto this. And then lock them down and they're good to go. But I took two foot of this cable, which is three thirty seconds something like that I got twenty four foot of two foot each for twelve traps twenty four foot will get you two foot a piece oh uh, then I took and bought these three thirty seconds wire wire connector thingies whatever you want to call them stuck them on there ran it through made a loop with it ran it back through tightened it down you want one loop, kind of small, and you're going to do the same thing on the other end, but make it bigger. So for each one, you're going to need, you'll need two of these, two of these wire connectors, one of these, and two foot of wire. That's all you need. And if you want, use duct tape electrical tape to keep the ends from fraying and getting in the finger get a piece of metal in your finger ain't no fun but that's a little something I was wanting to show you what I made um, and I have them all just hooked together with one of these I don't use them no more if you want them let me know you can buy them from me or I'll give them to you or trade you for something for them so let me know I've got 12 of them some are longer and some are short. I don't like them because I don't. I've got stakes now, so I don't use them no more. So they're just sitting in the spare room collecting dust. Um, but something I really want to show y'all is my bag and how I've got my bag set up. Cause a lot of people they go out and buy trapping buckets or baskets for your back or whatever you want to call it. I use a duffel bag. I'm going to show you what I started out with and what I've moved to now and some of the things I have in it. This right here is what I started out with. Just a regular school book bag. But when you're carrying 12 traps, you know, it's a pretty decent sized bag, but when you're carrying 12 traps, it gets kind of hectic. Because you got your 12 traps, you got 12 stakes in it, your bait. Your call, your fish oil, all that stuff. It gets kind of, it gets kind of messy. But my fish oil, I actually get in a gallon, one gallon container. It comes in something like this, which I got it from Fur Harvest. Oh, uh, this is where I get it from. You can get it from wherever you get it. They're the cheapest people I found. But that's one of the things I get from them. 
my bag is just an old is just an old bag like this, which is a duffel bag. Messy, smutty, yeah, I know. But that's what you get when you go hunting. A little bit of dirt. The reason I use this is because it works great for me. Um, in this pocket right here, I got a hammer to beat my steaks in with. It's just a ball ping hammer, 24 ounce, if you can see that. Um, I also take dog proof DP coon trap setter, whatever you want to call them. I call them DPs. But only other thing I've done to this, if you can tell, I have filed that piece right there down a little bit where it hooks into the trap and it'll hold and it won't slip off. So she uses this a lot when we're setting. Um, I got my pellets, which I'm going to switch these out with my 22s. Um, 12 traps. 12 traps fit in this very easily and all my gear so I just take this sling it on my back and I'm good to go it's got a big pocket right there I carry my bait in two big end pockets right here which I'll show you what's in these in a minute a big thing for you could probably put a bottle of water in there if you wanted to and then I've got this pocket right here which works great for your flashlights, batteries. Uh, I carry like a little handsaw with me. All that works pretty good in this bag. Now I'm going to take everything out and show you what I've got in it. So give me one minute to get everything out. I've got popsicle sticks just from the craft, craft sticks. Basically 150 popsicle sticks. Put my bait on. I'll show you my bait in a second. Oh, uh, this is what I use in the traps is marshmallows. I keep about I keep anywhere between three to four bags with me at a time. This is what we have left out of two sets, 24 traps we set, and we set them. Um, once at my uncle's house, and we use probably, we say two bags. Mm -hmm. We use about two and a half bags of marshmallows. Uh, yeah, something like that. But I pack them like this. That way, I can set my bag down, grab a few traps, run down, set my far traps out, come work my way back to my bag, grab a bag of these, throw them in my pocket, keep on going. Um. Uh. And then, in this side, I have my lure, which I double bag it because if your wife don't hunt or your mom or dad don't coon hunt, if you're younger, this stuff really stinks. They will be mad at you if this stuff gets in their house. Trust me. But, oh no, drop it. I mean, this stuff, it comes in a glass jar. That's what it looks like. I'm not going to open it because it smells that bad. Um, But that's the bait I use right there. However you pronounce it, I don't know. Um, But it's shellfish bait. It's for coons. They have another bait that's for coons. And I got this from Fur Harvester also. But the bag... It was just something I had laying around the house. Because I didn't have the money to go spend on one of their uh, trapping trapping baskets. Uh, the large trapping basket, which was the one I wanted. It's about 70 something dollars in there. Uh, I have seen people make their own, which is a smart idea. They took a flat back trash can, one that's kind of flat, 
and uh took some paracord uh I think it was like 150 paracord 950 paracord something like that pop little holes in it ran it around so they got their slots they can put stuff in and tie their straps to it to me it was easier just get a duffel bag I had it laying around it was free cheap something else I carry that big gallon of fish oil I got three bottles of these empty containers of these from fur harvester for two bucks three of these for two bucks can't beat it you can put you three or four different lures in it I fill this up it lasts me four sets so it's not bad since I don't have to carry that big gallon around with me everywhere I go um and then a lot of times when I get off work my uncle will call me because I set I trap at my uncle's house a lot so he's got a lot of problems with coons and coyotes and stuff like that throw the bag in the car I've got it when I get off work this is a little flashlight that my papa got me it's pretty cool it extends out I don't know where he got it from it extends out the head twist around on it and it's I mean it's pretty bright I mean it works it works for a uh, coon hunting at night you can stick it in your pants loop or your belt loop or something like that and uh so if I can't get it, get the thing back together this is one I use because I can just stick it down in my belt loop twist it whichever way I need it and I can walk don't have to worry about holding the flashlight um I try to keep all my batteries the same and all my flashlights I have this little flashlight it's just a an OT 150 lumen little light pretty cool little light got it from Academy like 15 20 bucks it's bright also it's brighter than the other one um but when I was talking about like saws and stuff I'll show you the old saw I used to carry this saw I like it better because it packs away it's easy to carry this is just a little Coleman from Walmart that's all I use it's a little Coleman saw that way if you're going down a trail you like you can cut your small little path through it whatever you need because a lot of the spots I hunt on or trap on is creeks and streams and stuff like that I can cut me a path where I can drop down in the creek and get gone now this this is a knife I just carry with me that uh my uncles gave me I carry this with me I use it for a skinning knife which no I shouldn't but I do but it works it's real sharp um also like I said I try to keep all my batteries the same I keep batteries on me I go through more batteries than probably anybody else cause I'll have three people go with me at once battery dies I got batteries oh uh, but this is the knife I used to carry machete top deal this is one I used to carry with me it's great if you're going through real thick stuff it's got a saw on top as you can see it's a uh, bear grills um it's got a saw on top it's sharp originally comes with like a little leather sheath type deal it's got a handle on it but this was a little too much for me for where I trap at so I switched to the other knife and something else that I carry that probably most people don't think about carrying is when I set my traps I take and set out a trail camera 100 bucks from Walmart get you a trail camera this one has to have a US was USD card 
little USD card. Real simple. Nothing fancy. Oh, you got your you got your on and off switch, your setup button, your setup. Um, it does take pretty good videos. I've been playing around with it at the house. Um, but what a lot of people don't realize, you set this out coon hunting, and you might see a big deer if you deer hunt, and that might tell you, okay, I need to hunt that spot. Because I'm new to this, and, you know, every little bit helps me. Because it's just me and my wife here that hunts. Uh, my uncle's too old to get out. He can't take the cold. So, I basically do it for him. But, that's what I carry in my bags. So, if you have any questions or comments, just comment below. If you have any questions on a video that you want me to do, let me know. Oh, uh, next time I go set my traps, I'm gonna show you how I set them. But other than that, uh, just subscribe, rate, comment, and let me know what you think. Any other videos that you have, just let me know. Later.